My name is Kathy Webb and this is my seventh year as the librarian at Mark Twain Elementary and it is the best job in the school. The Lake Washington Schools Foundation recently awarded the district library program a five-year grant that provides training for district librarians to perform diversity audits of their library collections. The foundation is also providing substantial funding to expand the collections in each school to help create a welcoming district culture where all students and families are represented. I am excited that the Lake Washington Schools Foundation has decided to support the district li libraries like they have because collections are very dynamic and I don't know that people who don't work in libraries always think about that. So they are always growing and, and, and changing and so it is, a, it is a continual process. You're never done um, putting your collection together. And one of the th phrases that comes up often with diversity, um, equity, inclusion, is the idea of mirrors and windows. The idea with mirrors is that you see yourself reflected. And the idea with windows is that you can see then into other worlds and other people's experiences. It's not enough to have Native American books or Latino books or Asian books. Am I representing these different areas of these different communities, of these different cultures. There's also uh, when we incorporate intersectionality. So disability, different types of um, housing, uh, family structures, um, you know, military, rural or urban, um, different religions. So we have different ethnicities, different cultures, but then how are we also representing these other aspects of diversity? Then, I consider reading levels and interest levels. So when I have these books, do I have them at a beginning reading level? Is a picture book, early chapter, chapter book, nonfiction. So am I representing these groups throughout the library as well and at different age levels and interest levels? One thing I ask the kids to focus on is what do you see that is similar to you, to your, or your religion, or your culture? or your housing situation, or your family structure? What do you see that is similar, and what do you notice that is different? For kids to see the connection first, and what did we have in common first, and then notice the things that, that might be different as well. Stories are such an important way for people to feel seen, and for people to feel like they belong as part of the community. And I never ever want any of my students to ever feel like they don't see themselves in this library. So that's very important to me. The grant from the Lake Washington Schools Foundation is important to help each school keep their collection diverse and current, but also contribute to equity between the schools. This year I had a parent contact me. They have a mixed uh, ethnicity family, and she was asking if I had books uh, that represented her culture and we exchanged a little bit about that. And there was a book I did have, a picture book, that she had not heard of. So I sent it home with her child, and she read it, and she emailed me later and said that it was so reminiscent for her of her childhood and of people in her family that were no longer with her, and that it actually you know, brought tears to her eyes and was quite, um, quite important and emotional for her to have read that book. And then as a librarian, you know, what else, what else can you ask for? It's like, I, I can retire now. <laughs>